all look pretty good today, but I bet you guys would look a lot better with a nice summer tan. Picture this. It's the last day of school. You're in your sixth grade <coughs> final. You've been working for like an hour now. You're so tired. You're losing focus because really all you can think about is summer. Being able to sleep in late and do fun activities with your friend and family. Famous singer John Mayer said that because uh, a little bit of summer is what the whole year's all about. And I stand to what he said because <coughs> Whenever I'm in school, all I'm thinking about is when is summer break, because summer break is the highlight of my year every single year. So how many of you enjoy summer? All right, we took a survey and found that 61% of our speech class prefer summer over any other season. And I know people may think there's not much to do here in Indiana when the school year ends, but there's actually many events you can attend to keep you occupied. Today we're here to inform you about some of the well-known attractions here to partake in in the summer. Who here has been to the Indianapolis 500? Awesome. The Indy 500 is an automobile race held annually here um, at the Indianapolis Motor Speedway in Speedway, Indiana. Uh, it first started in 1911 and there's been 102 races so far. It takes place on Sunday, May 22nd. Here is a map of the track. It is an oval shape and it's 2.5 miles long and the race consists of 200 laps. Sarah, move to your left just like a step and then just forward a step. Okay. There we go. Anything that's better? Yeah. Okay. okay. Sorry. Um, before the race, is personally my favorite, they have an open ceremony where someone will sing the national anthem and the Purdue band will play Back Home Again in Indiana. Jets will fly over the um, top of the track and they play a famous song called Taps along with several parade laps. Then you have the pace cars which celebrities, uh, military people, and former racers will be in a convertible and they like wave around, they like wave while they go around the track and it really just gets the crowd excited and like ready for the race to begin. And when the race does begin, someone will say start your engine and then um, the, they wave the checkered flag and then the race begins. So while you're watching the race, you can also go down from the stands and walk around to have like food, drinks, and you can like buy merchandise. Um, when I went last year, I actually ran into like my cousin and my aunt. So we ended up like having lunch together. It was really fun just meeting people, like your family there. Um, you can also go to the snake pit, which is inside of the track. You have to get a separate ticket for it, but it's just a big concert and you can like see it up in the stands and people are like jumping up and down and dancing so it seems like they're having a really good good time. Um, so really it all comes down to the ending. It's really just about the last lap. Who's gonna get there first? Who's gonna go across the finish line? And everyone's like standing up and cheering and once they announce the winner, it's a tradition that they um, <coughs> drink milk. And all in all, it's just a really great day to be a Hoosier and kick off the summer. So now Hunter's going to talk about concerts here in Indiana. So raise your hand if you've ever been to a concert. Now keep your hand raising uh, if you enjoyed that concert. Exactly. I don't know a lot of people who have been to a concert and just didn't have a fun time because concerts are a great time to have a uh, <coughs> Have fun with your friends and your family and just listen to good music and listen to artists that you enjoy hearing. Now luckily for us, we have two uh, nice music venues near us where we can go and enjoy our summer. So the first place is uh, Ruoff Home Mortgage Center, also known as the Noblesville Amphitheater. And over the years, they have uh, <coughs> hosted many popular artists like Green Day, Wiz Khalifa, Zach Brown Band, Dave Matthews Band, and many more. Um, the Ruoff Home Mortgage Center was first established in 1989, and there are 6,000 seats, and then there's a lawn area that uh, can hold up to 18,000 people. And they've actually been breaking records because in the past few years, they've been holding over 25,000 people just because people keep buying the tickets. Um, so with this big venue, it is always a stop for uh, for people on their like countrywide tours in the summer to come to Indiana and perform for their fans. I interviewed uh, a worker there. His name is Dante Safali, and 
He is a food runner and buster for the VIP restaurant. And he talked about how he loves working there because it's always busy and that there's never a dull night when there's a concert and that he even enjoys going to the venue when he's not working to have fun with his friends and listen to good music. Now, on the other side of town, we have the, Nobles, the Nickel Plate District Amphitheater. And this is a smaller venue, obviously. It actually was uh, built in 2012, and it can hold up to 5,000 people. And it's uh, all on, there's, like, you bring your own seating. It's really cool. And this is more of like a family-friendly friend, uh, place, because Ruoff is kind of more for like older people, like teenagers and adults, while here you can bring like, your little kids and have a fun time run around, play tag with their friends, do whatever. Now, this uh, place holds uh, concerts for like smaller bands and like cover bands and stuff like that. Now in the summer, they actually hold free concerts. And what this means is on Tuesdays, this uh, past summer, from June 5th to August 7th, they held free concerts every single night. And then on Wednesday, from May 2nd to September 26th, this past summer, they also held free concerts during the afternoon. Now this is awesome for when you're at home, maybe you slept in a little bit and you're bored, all your friends are out of town maybe, and you're, you only have like that one friend but you guys don't know what to do, like hey, you guys could go to a summer concert, have a good time, why not? Now, the Nickel Plate uh, Amphitheater is right downtown Fishers. It's right here and then this is actually the town hall, this is the fire department, and over here a little bit is the police department. and you can see there's many nice restaurants down here that you can go to while you're maybe like watching the concert, maybe before, maybe after, whatever you like. Now, uh, after looking at these two concert venues, it shows that throughout the summer there can never be a dull night because the Klipsch, um, not Klipsch, Ruoff Home Mortgage Center has concerts one, uh, once or twice a week and there are at least two concerts every week at the Nickel Plate amphitheater. Um, so now uh, I'm going to pass it off to Grace who's going to talk about state fairs, which is great because once concert season dies down, you start going to state fair. Okay, so the Indiana State Fair has been around, around for many years, hosting 161 state <coughs> fairs. And so in 2019, it will they will begin the Indy State Fair will open up on August 2nd and last 16 days, having it end on August 18th. Um, even just the State Fair alone can ha have many events to keep you occupied during the summer, including the variety of food, rides, and even shows. And the shows at the Indy State Fair ha occur mainly right in and around the track right in the center of it. And some of the shows that take place there include horse showings, cheer competitions, and even concerts. Uh, up in the northeastern corner of the fair, they have an animal farm right there. And it's basically just a barn. You can go in and inside and pet the animals and feed them as well. And they have animals like pigs, horses, and goats, mainly the farm animals. Uh, another main attraction that's there is the Midway, which is an area of sideshows um, and games of chance and games of skill at the fair. And along with this, it also has rides, including the bullet train, the cliffhanger, and the screamer. And this is more popular for the teens or adults, but there's also a kitty section located in the midway. And this is located on the west side, right here. And I would say that the most well-known part of the state fair, or any state fair for that matter, is the food. And the most food, I would say, is located around this center section. But they're also scattered throughout, and they have, a total, they have over 125 food stands at the state fair. Um, some of the popular food includes well, the popular foods and drinks, the drinks that are most known at the State Fair are the lemon shake-ups and the iced tea. The, 
The fried chicken and waffle sandwich is another popular one, and it's actually served with powdered sugar and syrup. Fried butter is another big one, along with the fried Oreos and the fried cookie dough. Some other popular foods include the curd cup, which is a cup of fried cheese, and nacho dessert nachos, which are basically chips served with ice cream, chocolate, syrup, and strawberries. Another very popular food that's served is, are the turkey legs. And these are so popular that on average each year, over 14,000 turkey legs are ordered. A major, the safer is a major part of what makes Indiana what it is today. And it's been around for many years, hosting over 160 fairs. The Indy 500 concerts and the state fair are there some of the major events that take place during the months of May to September. Many events, or er, there are many events to do here in Indiana, and we only gave you three. The Indy 500 is a great way to watch world-class racing and a great way to spend time with your family and friends. With concerts weekly, there's never a dull night, and the state fair is here to top off your summer with the great memories. I hope when the last day of school comes around and you're still working on your final, you know how to enjoy the warm weather ahead. So how will you spend your summer? I hope you have some fun in the summer. <laughs> <laughs>